All right, it's been quite some time since I did a video on the uh, DSM tools for Edge TX, and uh, the ones that I did do were, were mixed into some pretty long videos. So I wanted to do a pretty quick couple of videos. Uh, this will be two different videos. Uh, one for the uh, TX16S first, uh, how to install it if you don't have anything on there right now. And then second, if you already have it on there, how to do an update, because there's a slightly different procedure you got to go through. And it's it's been some time since I did it. And uh, also with the uh, recent Spectrum updates for their firmware, uh, there's been a very recent update with the uh, DSM tools for the forward programming, since there'll be a lot of people doing this update. And then uh, I've never done one on the Zorro, so I'm going to do that too, because uh, if you didn't know, the uh, small black and white radios like the Zorro, the Boxer, you can also do DSM uh, forward programming and the uh, DSM uh, smart telemetry for the uh, Avian ESCs and stuff with these radios too. So I'm going to I'm going to do another video later uh, covering the Zorro, since I haven't done anything for that. For this one, let's cover the uh, TX-16S. First, I'm going to show you how to put it on your radio if you don't already have the scripts for the DSM tools. So let's jump right into that. First, uh, I've got the radio turned on, and I'm going to plug in a USB cable to the top. This is plugged into my PC. And then uh, what you want to do, put that on USB storage, click the wheel. I've just rolled the wheel down to USB storage, click the wheel. And uh, now I'm going to set that radio aside. We're in USB mode, so now we're going to switch over to the uh, to the PC. So first, uh, just so you know, this is, my, in my case, it shows up as an E drive. And these are all the files on my radio. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm not going to use my radio. I'm just going to switch over to some clones of that that are on my desktop. It, just so you know, you would be doing this uh, preferably from a backup and then write that to your radio. But as usual, if you're going to do any uh, changes to your radio, do a backup first, copy all these files. You can just select them all. What I'm doing is I'm clicking on the top one, hold the shift button down, click on the bottom one. You may not have all of these different files, but uh, whatever's on your SD card, you can just right click that, hit copy, or just drag it to a new folder. Wherever you want to put it, just uh, create a new file or folder, excuse me, and just, you know, call it backups or whatever, and then just dump all those files into there. That's going to, uh, you know, just do right click and paste or just drag them over there like this, and you're going to create a backup of your SD card. Then you're protected. Uh, so I'm not going to fiddle with that right now. I've got several copies. These are both copies of an old backup that I did that I'm going to use for this uh, demonstration. Disconnect this because I don't need that for this uh, purpose. First uh, example, if you're installing this and you don't have any forward programming, or maybe you have the version uh, 0 0.2 pro, uh, forward programming that came on uh, most of the uh, previous firmware updates uh, for HTX or the multi-protocol -mod multi module, uh, a lot of them only came with version 2.0.2 and it doesn't hardly have any functionalities uh, compared to the new one. So let's jump to the website. I'll put a link to this below, but it's uh, github.com. Uh, Frankie Arzu DSM tools. The the two ones we're concerned about are the uh, the forward programming and the DSM telemetry. Uh, these are there's some other things in here that you can play with, uh, but uh, they're not really needed for this uh, demonstration. If you scroll down here, there is a bunch of instruction on uh, how it works and you know how the thing is set up. Now some of these screenshots are going to be uh, older. Uh, I don't think he's updated these quite yet because uh, if you've got the new if you have the new three point whatever uh, firmware for Spectrum, there's some new features in there, which we do get with the newer uh, version. So you got two choices here. What I normally do is just come over to code and I hit code and then I'll uh, download the zip and that'll give me everything in all these folders. And then I can weed through them on my computer. If you don't want all of that stuff, you can get them individually. You just click on the, let's start with Florida programming, click that. Uh, this is for a TIC 16S. So I'm going to click color. If you're doing the Zorro, you'll click the black and white and then pick the most recent one you want. So in this case, we want to get version 5.8 because that's the brand new one. Uh, you can click on that, and then you can come over here. That's download raw file, it says, if you see there in the corner. If you just click on that, you can download just this zip file. We'll just do that just to show you. And then uh, I'm going to put this, you know, create a folder that you like. Uh, let's just put it on my desktop for now. I've created a folder called HTX, DSM tools, and I'll just dump it in there. Now, if I jump over to that folder, you can see I've got my uh, that folder downloaded to here. Second choice, come back to the uh, the root of this, like I showed initially, and just uh, click on the green code. If I downloaded the entire zip, which would be all this stuff, I could just click this zip here. I'll put it in that same spot. Now, if I go back to that page, you can see that I've got the entire folder here. So 
Uh, on a Windows machine, if you're on a Mac, you're going to have to figure that out on your own. I'm not doing another tutorial for Mac. You'll just have to adapt that for, for your purposes. So in Windows machine, you just right click on the zip file and you click extract all. So I'll click extract all. You can rename it if you want. Generally, I just leave it the same name. And it'll create a new folder with the name of that zip file. Now, you'll notice that this looks just like what we saw on the website, uh, on the GitHub. So if I back up, if I just wanted the specific forward programming, I could just right click on this one, extract all. Now, see, it made a folder that just has... Let me, let me make this bigger so you can see it better. Now, it made a folder that had the same name as that. This one is only going to contain the TX16S color scripts. So, the, uh, it just, this particular one doesn't have any files in it. It's just a folder structure for you, the models, because you need to create this DSM data folder. This is, again, assuming you don't have it on your radio at all. And then the other one is a scripts folder, tools, and there's two files. Or the, there's a folder. This DSM lib, which includes all the message files and uh, details, images for your uh, radio that go on there uh, while you're in forward programming so you can see the right graphics and stuff. And then uh, the other one is the, the actual uh, forward programming script. This is one that pops up in your tools menu on your radio when you go to hit the, uh, the button. So I'm just going to use the dedicated one I downloaded, not the entire tools. So just to give you that example. So first, let me jump over here to the right. Here's my example radio with uh, no DSM tool. So this would be an example if you don't have it at all. Go into, uh, if you just go into the root of it, so this would be the same as you're just looking at your default radio uh, files. You've got folders for models and scripts, but so let's jump in over here back to the, to the left. All you really need to do is uh, copy these two folders. I'm, again, I'm clicking the top one, holding shift and clicking the other one, or you can just go like that and click them both. And you just want to drag that into the root of your SD card. Again, I'm, so this is on my desktop, but this is the same as it would be on your radio. I'm just going to drag those two over there, let go of them. If you're doing this on your radio and not on the, the computer, it, the reason that it did a move instead of a copy is because I'm on the same computer or same hard drive. Um, so normally it would just done a, 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 a copy procedure. So now if I go into my models, you'll see that I now have this DSM data folder. And if I go back into scripts, you can see that I now have the DSM lib folder with all those uh, files and folders. And I also now have the DSM forward programming 5.8 color Lua script. I didn't have that before. That's how you would install it if you didn't have it at all. Now let's jump over. As long as we're on it, I'm going to show you how to put the DSM smart telemetry on there. Now that one, uh, I could have, let me jump back over to the, if I go to this DSM telemetry, this is on the, the GitHub. Uh, for that one, this DSM telemetry version 12 is the newest. So I could download that by itself, same way I did the other one. But uh, let me jump back over to my f uh, folders because I've already got it. I downloaded that. This is this is why sometimes if you want to get both, you would just grab the whole folder uh, for the entire thing, and then I have everything. So here's the DSM telemetry, and then I've got the uh, DSM telemetry version 12. Let me zoom that in a little bit. So this is the latest. I'm going to right click on it, extract all. Now I have those files. And this one is pretty simple. There's just one file. Well, there's two in here, but most of you are not going to need this AR636. That's a helicopter thing for the uh, specifically for the AR636 receiver. It's an older receiver. It's discontinued now. There's a lot of them out there. So if you want that, you can have it, but uh, it's not very useful to most people. Now let's go back into my uh, radio that does not have DSM or did not have DSM tools. Go into my scripts, tools, and uh, you can see that I don't have this smart RX telemetry. So now uh, if I grab it and pull it over here, and you can see on the thing it says move on the, uh, the little uh, icon that I'm dragging. If I don't want to take it off of my hard drive and, and just to put it on my uh, other thing, I can just right click it, click copy. And then just paste it over here on the, uh, which we'll call the radio. And now I've added that. Now I've got this DSM smart telemetry, and that's the one you're going to use for doing your uh, avian programming, ESCs. You've got a lot of telemetry data on there you can look at. The uh, flight log for Spectrum, you can see all the fades and holds and that sort of thing. Two very cool uh, apps, but uh, the smart telemetry is just that one file. Pretty simple. Lesson number two, if you already have it on the radio, 
Now we have it on that radio already, but uh, let me show you. So this example radio is one that already has it. What you want to do is pull that up. You do not need to mess with the, the model data because let's say, for example, this one here. If I've already been using this on version 5.7 or older, not including version 0.2 because that doesn't have any of this. But you can see it, it creates, when you go into the model setup for forward programming, it creates these uh, files for you. We talked about these in another video. But this is the file that the forward programming needs when you set up a new model and set up a new receiver. It uses this data. It tells it what kind of wing type you have, flapper on, aileron, uh, two servos for flaps, or you know, one servo for flap, all that kind of stuff. It, it sets up the wing type. That's all um, set in these text files that the forward programming uses. So you don't need to delete that. So you don't need that uh, DSM data file. All you need to do is go into the scripts, go into tools. Uh, you want to find your DSM. There's my older version. And uh, there's also going to be a Lua C file that's associated with that. When you get in the radio, as soon as you open the Lua file, it automatically creates the Lua C file. Uh, just copy both of those and copy the uh, DSM lib folder because you want to delete all of that stuff because uh, the new version is going to replace all of that. The messages are different. There's uh, fixes. So uh, select three of these files and then hit delete. You're going to go to your new uh, file that you uh, downloaded. Okay, so now we're going to get that forward programming that we captured before. I'll show you how to use the, the, the bulk zip file that we downloaded we already unzipped this but so here's my brand new one 0.58 color let's so right click on that and extract all now i've got that stuff in here we can make it bigger if you need it i know it's kind of hard to see on the screen go in there now i remember i don't need the models dsm data folder because it's already there because i've already had it just go into your scripts go to tools now that i've deleted the old dsm lib folder now I have the new uh, DSM for programming 5.8. Now I can just copy that or drag and drop to my radio where I've deleted those old ones because I need to put the fresh ones on there. So now I'll just paste that in there. I can refresh that. Now you can see now I've got the uh, new folder. So that's how you do it if you are uh, updating an old radio that already has the old version. That's how you update it. Make sure you delete that DSM lib folder. That's the more, that's the important thing. Now, once you get that on there, now it's going to show up in your uh, tools menu on your uh, radio. When you hit Sys, go to tools, and you'll see uh, DSM for programming, and you'll also see the uh, the DSM Smart RX uh, tools. I uh, hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Next episode, I'm going to do the uh, Zoro radio, and you'll see there's uh, some slight differences with that one. There's uh, two or four programming files instead of one, just because the uh, memory is smaller on the uh, Zorro radio and the Boxer, the black and white radio. So the two files are a little bit different. So I'll show you how to do that one uh, in the next episode. Stay tuned for that.